What's up guys? Benny Blanco Easy here with another vlog on our Aerial Rider D-Class. Today is Tuesday, September 27th, 2022. And it is currently 68 degrees out and mostly sunny. Today, we're taking a cruise to Wachusett Mountain. We've taken this, uh, this ride once this year before I'm um, on the bike. And uh, this will be the second time this year. And it's uh, such a beautiful day that uh, yeah, that's, what, that's what we decided to do. And actually, uh, earlier today, we went uh, driving with our friend Lexi uh, to the mountain. Uh, we didn't go up the mountain, but we drove right past it and the entrance to it. So uh, we'll be retracing our steps pretty much from earlier today. Uh, we're on pedal assist one today. Uh, the mountain is about, I think it's 11 to 12 miles away, 13 at most. So uh, we'll be pedaling for a bit of it. look back on the last video that we had uh, when we went up Wachusa Mountain and uh, we were pedaling for that vlog too and we got home with a uh, it was about 47 percent battery so uh, we won't we won't need to worry about our battery too much today We've seen a lot of bikes out today. Uh, it's a perfect day for cruising around in the open air. So since our last video, uh, in, well in our last video we were uh, talking about uh, backup batteries for uh, the D-Class uh, slash spare batteries, or not, not spare batteries, uh, second second battery setups. And uh, we were debating uh, whether or not to uh, add a second aftermarket battery to the bike. Uh, but since then, uh, Aerial Rider has uh, the D-Class batteries in stock. So in the next, uh, in the next couple of few weeks, we'll be purchasing one. We were uh, we were waiting for that since the summer, so it's pretty awesome that they uh, they have those. I'm thinking in the next uh, two to two to four weeks, we should be. Uh, Seeing the leaves starting to turn colors, and uh, it's kind of nice to see. Um, for those of you who aren't from uh, the New England area, uh, we're in Massachusetts. Uh, for those of you who aren't from New England, 
as the leaves changing colors are uh, apparently something that uh, people like to see that aren't from the area. Um, there's, there's sometimes uh, people coming up from, uh, you know, uh, as far as far away as like New York and uh, and further uh, to come see the leaves change colors. So uh, we'll have to get some videos, uh, some vlogs of uh, the nice fall foliage colors. Maybe we'll take another trip up to the mountain in the next few weeks as they start to turn. So as far as the uh, D-Class being discontinued, uh, the aerial rider D-Class is what we're uh, riding today. Uh, as far as the D-Class being discontinued, uh, it seems like it's still up in the air. There, it's. Uh, I haven't seen any official uh, comments or uh, anything from Aerial, Ra Aerial Rider about it. Um, so it's. Uh, it could go either way. It seems. But I hope, uh, I hope they keep it kicking around. Maybe they're updating it or, you know, uh, something like that, revamping it. But uh, yeah, it, it was such a great value. I, I believe I got mine for about uh, tw 20, I, I wanna say 2,600 back in, uh, $2,600 back in uh, March I received it. Yeah, it might have gone up a couple hundred by now. But uh, yeah, I mean you're getting two, two 750 watt motors. You're getting a 21, 21 amp hour battery. Uh, 48 volt. Which is respectable. Um, and front suspension. There are other bikes on the market that uh, don't have, you know, ha ha literally half the features and they're going for the same amount, if not more. Uh, it seems like uh, a lot, a lot now, uh, people are going for the Grizzly. Which, uh, had the D-Class not been around when I bought mine, I for sure would have gotten the Grizzly over the X-Class. Earlier today, we, uh, were driving past the mountain and, uh, had a very clear view of Boston. So hopefully when we get there, uh, we'll still have a, a good view to check out. Uh, Boston is about 50, 53 miles away. Uh, no, maybe like 55 miles away. From uh, where we are in central Massachusetts. So my uh, nephew Ryan uh, apparently uh, has started uh, watching my my YouTube vlogs. Uh, he is currently seven years old in the second grade, and uh, yeah, I guess he uh, just subscribed to the channel. So I told him I would uh, give him a shout out in my next vlog. So, what up, Ryan? 
It was good to see you the other day. Thanks for watching my videos, buddy. It's funny, he was uh, commenting to my sister about uh, the low amount of subscribers I have uh, compared to the other people he watches on YouTube who have like 2 million plus subscribers. So, uh, yeah, thanks for subscribing, buddy. And, uh, yeah, for those of you who uh, are watching and not subscribed, go ahead and hit the uh, subscribe button if uh, you want to be updated of uh, new videos from uh, our channel. Throw a comment too if uh, you have anything to say. Um, and uh, yeah, go ahead and hit that like button if, uh, if you like the content. funny uh talking with uh other people that uh do not own e-bikes and uh it's funny you can explain it all you want how how fun it is and uh how awesome it is to be out in the uh open air riding around and uh as much as you can explain it they just can't they just can't understand and uh, it, you really can't describe it in words. It's kind of a, if you know, you know, kind of thing. Just a little observation I've made over the uh, months. Fall is probably our favorite, favorite season. I guess followed by, uh, no, probably spring and then winter and then summer because summers, uh, they get really hot in the kitchen and we much prefer the cold. Uh, it didn't used to be like that before the, uh, before I started working in the kitchen. But uh, now, I'll gladly take the cold over the heat any day. And there's the house with the uh, bridge going across. I always thought that was cool. I always thought that was really cool. There's deck down there too on the second story. Nice houses around here. Uh, Princeton uh, brings in a lot of money uh, from Washusa Mountain. There's a ski area uh, resort on the mountain. So that brings in a lot of revenue for the the town. They, uh, years ago, they implemented free Wi-Fi for the town. I don't know if they still have that, but, uh, that was like a big deal back then. So our friend, uh, our friend Josh just received his grizzly uh, a week or two ago. Uh, we haven't had the chance to meet up to go riding together yet, but uh, he, it sounds like he loves it. So that'll be uh, something to look forward to in the, uh, near future hopefully uh, we've never I, don't, I can't say I've ever seen a grizzly in person I've seen a, a aerial rider Kepler um, at the Cape in a 
a Cape Cod and a sandwich and uh, that was a beautiful life it was like the uh, the blue that it comes in and uh, yeah it, it was a uh, it was a stunning bike so it'll be cool to see the uh, Grizzly in person One day in the future, we'll be getting a grizzly. Uh, the black and yellow color scheme looks, uh, looks sick. But first, we prioritize with uh, the backup battery for the D-Class. And then we'll, we're probably going to go for a uh, 360 camera. So in the next, in the next, uh, next little bit, we'll be getting busy. Well, longer than a little bit. And here we are, going into the uh, entrance of the, uh, the mountain. Once again, this is uh, Wachusett Mountain in central Massachusetts. In, uh, in Princeton, to be exact. what they're paying for, but we ain't paying. Oh, it's cool how you can see the uh, shadows from the clouds on like the land below, you know? See them slowly moving. But yeah, if any of you uh, are in the Central Mass area and have never Taking a ride up uh, Washington Mountain, I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, that reminds me, uh, well, something just reminded me. I'm not sure what it was. Um, oh, Central Massachusetts, we were talking about. Anyways, uh, there have been a, uh, a couple group rides in uh, the uh, neighboring city uh, to the town I live in. Uh, couple group group rides in Worcester Massachusetts and uh, we were working for both of them but it was still cool to see uh, a group of riders taking over uh, taking over the city on EVs I think uh, I saw pictures from the last one and uh, there are pictures that uh primo miles posted uh, i i want to say he's the coordinator of these group rides uh correct me if i'm wrong in the comments if uh you're watching the video but uh, i'm pretty sure he, uh primo is the uh coordinator and uh very cool to see that happening so kudos to you bro that's awesome
Maybe in the uh, future we'll be able to uh, join up with those guys on one of those. I think we've gone hiking up the mountain uh, before. Yeah, we definitely have. Um, that was years ago. Years and years. But it's a good hike. Uh, pretty steep in parts. Pretty rocky in some parts. But uh, it doesn't take all that long to get to the top from the bottom. And uh, yeah, going for hikes is uh, it's kind of a nice thing to do. Get out in the get out in the open in nature. The ski trails would be uh, pretty cool to uh, ride up and down, but we're definitely not about to do that. We'd definitely get kicked out of here if we got caught. Got a quick view of uh, this lookout here. Beautiful view today. Cloud cover looks really cool.
Hang on. And we'll take a quick look on the uh, lookout platform. distance there and uh, just make out the skyline of Boston. So Boston is about 43 miles away from here.
Well, that was the uh, observation uh, deck. We got very nice views of the uh, surrounding area. You can see New Hampshire, Connecticut, New York, Vermont. Did I say New Hampshire? Beautiful. Let's get a quick picture by uh, the sign. Porcupine? Yeah, it is too. Look at that, guys. It's pretty, getting pretty close to it. Look at that thing. Look at how close we are to this porcupine, guys. He's just like chilling. doesn't really seem uh, interested in us at all which is good huh. kind of cool all right well see you buddy Enjoy your lunch. has a funny song about uh, a porcupine. Except, uh, except it's called Winona's Big Brown Beaver. But uh, it's really a porcupine.
every time I've gone up the mountain, uh, I always feel like I should be staying at the top longer. You know, it takes almost an hour to get here, and uh, it's been, you know, 20, 30 minutes at the top. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, as much about the journey as it is the destination, I guess. One of those kind of things. But uh, yeah, we got some really nice views at the top. So that was cool. And it's a really nice ride. Come, uh, come winter time, uh, this being my daily commuter, uh, you guys will be able to see this thing and how it, uh, how it does in the snow in uh, winter of, winters of Massachusetts. Uh, in March when we received this, uh, we had a snowstorm and uh, I drove it around in the, in the snowstorm and uh, it handled it. Uh, perfectly fine even like steep hills uh, it was maybe you know a little slippy uh, with both wheels uh, engaged but uh yeah I mean it, it can it can climb the hills no problem I really don't even remember remember it being slippy uh, going up steep hills in the snow to be honest uh, the tires were brand new and uh, we'll probably be getting some uh, new tires before the winter and some new tubes uh, before we hit uh, this year's snow. But uh, yeah, that'll be cool to uh, be able to show you guys how this handles, how this uh, e-bike handles in the snow. And I, ha I really haven't seen too too many videos on uh, e-bikes in snowy conditions. You know, I've seen I've seen a handful, but uh, for the most part, uh, there there is few few videos of uh, aerial riders in the snow. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be uh, notified of the new videos so that'll be something to look forward to this winter you know as cold as it might be riding around uh, in the winter on this bike uh, could make some cool videos do you guys use headsets in your helmets when you're riding I've been uh, I've been thinking about that. Uh, we do have the uh, Bose Bluetooth speaker on the bike uh, if we want to listen to some music while we're out riding. But uh, you know they have the headsets that mount to the uh, outside of the your helmet, and then you have a little earbud or whatever. How it works, I'm not sure, but I think that's how it works. And uh, you can answer calls on it, and uh, listen to music on it, and uh, all that good stuff. I suppose I could do uh, pretty much the same thing with uh, my Apple AirPods. But uh, I've seen the, the headsets around uh, in videos and whatnot. So uh, yeah, it just crossed my mind. But if you guys uh, do use headsets, uh, leave a comment on uh, what you use and uh, if you like it, like it or not. I don't really have anyone to uh, communicate with while I'm riding, for the most part, unless someone calls me. So it's really not that big of a deal, but it seems like a cool accessory. So I forgot to tell you guys, so currently 
We are uh, we've gone over 1,500 miles on the bike. We are at 1,525 miles total. That's pretty cool. This is the best purchase I've ever made. No regrets. And I, it's funny, I never thought I would be a, a bike person, uh, really. You know, as a kid I would ride a uh, mountain bikes everywhere but uh, growing, uh when, you know growing older uh, i just didn't uh it just didn't strike me as fun anymore you know riding on a mountain bike uh to and from here it seemed like work to be honest and exercise which is a good thing but uh not necessarily necessarily what uh, I was looking for but uh, after riding around on the aerial rider d-class it's uh, it's awesome I was like really close, really fucking close. Well, I think that's gonna do it for uh, today's vlog, guys. Thanks for uh, clicking on the video and for watching. And uh, once again, uh, if you like uh, this type of content, go ahead and uh, hit the like button and subscribe and the notification bell to be uh, notified of new videos coming out from this channel, Benny Blanco EV. And uh, yeah, go ahead and leave a comment if you have anything to say. But other than that, that should do it. So, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Danny Blanco out.